Today again the power of analysis has been proven. I told you watch out for 1760 on gold and you can stay long and then the next resistance level is precisely at 1773 74 levels it is precisely achieved those levels likewise us 30 and us 100 also trading bullish with the support at 13400 and 338 800 900 zone precisely now what is going to happen with the us cash session we will see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators if you are missing to subscribe definitely you are missing on the profit don't commit this mistake do subscribe and do share it across also like and comment yes the daily analysis once with the asia session and second this analysis definitely will help you in your day trading decisions let's start the day first we look into gold follows with nasdaq 100 and in the end down look at the early charts i have told you it is taking the support here at 1760 to 60 levels and that is where i had asked you that only go short once you see it trading below 1760 since then it has retraced precisely got the resistance at 1773-74 zone and if it breaks this yes you, you can expect it to go back till towards 1780 levels and then 1783-84 will come into picture that is a strong resistance zone right now on the early charts it is still bullish but the stochastic if you see this is overbought and looking downwards also the MACD is wide divergent and bullish probably it must start to convert so yes you can see either red candles or either uh, diminished green candles RSI trading flat with a little upward bias now look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts too likewise it has seen the resistance also it is trading beyond the resistance zone now at around 1768 levels it is trading above these levels also if it trades beyond 1774 levels probably we may see rather one can expect beyond 1775 you can expect it to hit 1780 levels which is going to be a good resistance beyond that if it trades above 1780 then you can expect 1784 but uh, beyond 1784 definitely it is bullish see there is a crossover on the directional movement and this is a bullish cross on the two hour charts stochastic entering into overbought levels the MACD has just crossed over this is wide divergent and bullish this is the second green candle and yes it is a strongly bullish candle let's be watchful how it behaves there at 1774 rsi trading flat and if you look at the three r charts likewise on the three r charts see this is the second green candle taking the support here but at the same time must be watchful and aware that it is getting the resistance precisely from this it is trying to trade in this channel this is the high at around 1774 75 level so yes you can go long only above 1775 that is a safe entry for you to go bullish directional movement so far bearish but trying to converge crossover for a bullish move stochastic again looking upwards the MACD on the 3 hour charts has crossed over this is divergent this is a bullish cross it may try to sustain this bullishness for a little while RSI trading flat and on the 4 hour charts if you look at on the 4 hour charts likewise it is trying to get the resistance see the resistance on the 4 hour charts at 1774-75 is strong if it breaks beyond then one can look forward to 1780 and then 1784 levels beyond that it will fly for 1790-95 levels directional movement so far is bearish willing to converge crossover for a bullish move stochastic looking upwards indicating little bullishness the MACD is willing to converge crossover it is still trading in red let's be watchful for the next candle RSI trading flat and look at the daily charts on the daily charts look at this here see it has created a bottom higher low still now also look at the previous two candles lower highs also after this this was the first candle and see the bearishness was of diminishing in nature as it failed to uh, give the equal size of candle and hence indicates that probably we may see a reversal yes 1774-75 is a good zone if it sustains above 74-75 you can expect 1780 and 80 182 rather 84 levels are also possible but here between 18, 80 and 84 it is going to get very strong resistance if it breaks past by this zone then you can definitely expect bullishness there at the same time first resistance at around 1774-75 so yes go long only if you see it about 1770 five levels beyond that it may try to act bullish and we may see a good bullish momentum over that however you have to be cautious for 1780 to 84 levels in between that it it is going to get very strong resistance it can get a pullback again on the downside from those levels so yes and if it fails to break past 1775 and sustains on the downside probably you can take a short entry at around 1760 four levels but below 1764 you can again expect 1760 to provide a support and below that it is going to give you very strong bearish candle which is going to go back till towards 1750 levels so yes you can go back again short at around 1764 levels see directional movement is 
नॉट इंडिकेटिव ऑफ एनी थिंग इट इज ट्रेडिंग फ्लैट आर स्टॉक आई स्टिक इज ओवर सोल्ड मैगडी हैज जस्ट क्रॉस ओवर एंड दिस वॉज अस क्रॉस विच वी आर वेटिंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग एंड नाउ इट मे ट्राई टू सस्टेन दिस probably rsi is trading flat consider in this yes you can go short at 1764 and go long at 1774 five levels in between these 11 dollars you should not take a position rather oh, one can see 1765 and 1775 almost 10 dollars you should avoid trading and below 1765 you can expect again 1760 and if you see it dropping below 1760 consider that as an extreme reversal and it is going to crash strongly on the downside then you can expect 17 50 and 1747 is the levels which it may achieve even if it breaks below 1747 you can again expect 1741 levels so a safe short entry is below 1765 and a safe long entry is above 1775 levels on the upside you have to be cautious of the 1780 84 zone if it breaks 1784 strong bullish momentum can be seen on the downside you have to be cautious till 1760 if it breaks 1760 we may see very strong bearish momentum do not trade between 1760 and 1765 and 1775 levels and on the larger time frame be cautious in between 1760 and 1785 levels take your positions accordingly trade accordingly now let's have a look at nasdaq and yes if you support the effort do not miss to become a patron if you become a patron definitely it will unlock benefits for you at the same time it will give motivation to me and the support you give to the effort so do become a patron the link is mentioned in the channel description and the video description and now look at the nasdaq 100 on the early charts double bottom almost form and now it is trying to reverse at the same time one must observe that it is going to get the resistance here at 13550 that is the level beyond which definitely one can stay long and one can expect it to rise more if it trades above 13550 levels at the same time on the downside yes you can go short at 13470 so in between 13470 and 13550 do not take up position directional movement is moderately bullish stochastic is overbought on the early charts and if you look at the macd this is also wide divergent and bullish RSI is looking upwards indicating a little bullish momentum here and also on the two hour charts if you look at see similar size of candle can be formed here and it can get a resistance here at 13550 levels close to this zone definitely strong resistance exists you have to be cautious till there and once it breaks past 13550 you can again expect 13600 and just be cautious of these levels at 13600 50 it can rise till there beyond 13650 sky is the limit it is going to fly high just be cautious of the zone between 13600 and 650 so first is 13550 if it trades above 13550 go long expect it to enter into the first resistance zone between 13600 620 650 levels is going to give it a very strong resistance beyond that definitely it will fly high on the downside you have to be you have, you can go short at 13470 expect it to drop till towards 13400 and then below 13400 we may see a very strong drop towards 13350 if you recall i had told it in my weekly analysis also that it can get a resistance at around 13600 700 zone and then on the downside you have to be watchful of 13350 300 zone below that we may see strong bearishness two hour charts crossing over for a bullish move stochastic overbought on the two hour charts macd is crossing over for a bullish move and that is why we can see a strong bullish momentum once it crosses over it enters into a bullish zone and then it may trade in green rsi also is looking upwards likewise if you see on the three hour charts on the three hour charts similarly it is trying to achieve the highs of this three it is trying to create a channel of its own and if you look at this this is the channel the highs at around 13 5 85 85 600 levels you can say so just be cautious in above 13550 you can go long but 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 you have to be cautious till towards 13600 20 40 levels it can reverse any point of time only beyond 13650 it will show a strong bullish momentum so be cautious of 13650 levels also directional movement is bearish it is trying to converge crossover stochastic looking upwards macd is willing to converge crossover for a bullish move rsi is looking upwards and if you look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts if you look at see it is trying to rise and it may give you a bullish candle just be cautious of 13650 here beyond 13650 you can expect it to again enter till towards 13600 zone which is very strong resistance and beyond that 13620 650 which is a good resistance beyond that it is going to fly high on the upside definitely very strong support at 13400 breaking below 13400 we may see very strong crash directional movement bearish willing to converge crossover stochastic looking upwards the macd is willing to converge crossover for a bullish move rsi looking upwards 
and if you look at the daily charts on the daily chart see it is trying to reverse here taking the support see it is formed higher lows so far and yes if you consider these two candles here the resistance there at 13600 definitely very very strong there probably if it breaks beyond 13600 it is going to fly high on the downside yes you can go short here at 13470 and 30 below 13450 definitely we will see bearish momentum and then it may try to drop till towards 13300 level so go short at 13 uh, 470 levels and go long above 13550 levels in between these 80 points avoid trading directional movement is bullish it must start to converge the stock I was overbought now looking downwards and MACD is willing to cross over and this is a going to be a bearish cross after a long bullish journey journey it is trying to cross over for a sell there probably we may see bearish momentum henceforth and the indicators might cool down a bit RSI trading near to the top considering this do not trade between 13470 and 550 remember on the upside above 13550 it may get uh, it may achieve 13600 13620 13650 till 13650 it can reverse any point of time you have to trade with the trailing stop loss or you have to trade with a stop loss at cost at least such that you can preserve your capital so be watchful of 13650 and yes uh, 13550 you can go long above which you can expect a resistance till 13650 levels beyond 13650 it is going to go extremely bullish on the downside go short at 13470 below 13470 you can sell just be watchful of 13440 13400 these two levels if it breaks below 13400 today we can see a very good drop then 13300 and 250 levels are the target take your positions accordingly take your trades accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss now let's have a look at dow us 30 on the early charts if you see higher lows it is trying to give you and it is trying to give you higher highs at the same time on the early charts the next resistance they are at 34 150 levels you have to be cautious till towards those levels and on the downside if you look at till here probably this is going to be a zone of caution between 34050 and 34150 it can reverse from these levels directional movement is bullish stock stock is overbought on the early charts the MACD has crossed over it is wide divergent and bullish on the early charts RSI is looking upwards too likewise if you see on the two hour charts on the two hour charts look at this on the two hour charts yes it is support here at 33900 i have always told this is going to be a very strong support and taking the support here it is trying to rise at the same time one must observe it is giving lower highs and hence only long entry i will recommend is beyond 33100 34100 once it trades beyond 34100 you can watch out for 34150 and if it breaks past 34150 you can stay long and then it is going to fly high so right now it is trying to trade in this bearish channel still it is giving you lower highs and only long entry i will recommend if it trades beyond 34 100 levels on the downside yes you can take a short entry here at 33 950 levels below that you can expect 33 900 33 850 and 800 levels if it breaks below 33 800 it is going to give you stronger drop directional movement is bullish stochastic entering into overbought levels the MACD is willing to converge crossover it is bearish it is converging crossing over for a bullish move let's see if it does cross over RSI looking upwards on the 2 hour charts likewise if you see on the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts see here first thing is it is after it has broken this bullish channel it is traded bearish it has got the support here at 33800 trying to rise from here this is a 3 hour chart similar size of candle if it breaks past by 34100 definitely we can expect a strong bullish momentum then you can expect 34150 levels and if it breaks past 34150 stay long for 34200 plus plus levels and we may see it hitting 34250 also double top so drop right 34250 and then a drop can be expected if it continues to trade below 34250 so just be watchful of 34 uh just stay long if you see it trading above 34100 but you have to keep trading with the stop loss at cost or keep trading the stop loss till it is below 34250 it can reverse any point of time use the resistance zone is at 34150 then 34200 and 250 levels and on the downside remember it is if it breaks below this zone at 34 uh, rather I say 33,950 you can go short below 33,950 and then expect it to come back till towards 33,900 and 850 levels if it breaks 33,850 we may see a good drop till towards 33,800 below 33,800 definitely a strong drop will be seen 3R stochastic looking upwards MACD is bearish trying to converge RSI looking upwards on the 3R charts likewise if you see on the 4R charts see on the 4R charts you must observe 
that it is giving you lower highs and hence if it breaks past this zone beyond 34060 then you can expect 34100 and then 341500 levels beyond that you can expect 34250 making double top it can drop again so it is trying to create a double top let's be cautious there also on the downside if it breaks below 33950 you can expect 33900 and 33850 levels to provide a support below that you can expect it to drop for 33800 levels and if it breaks 33800 definitely stronger drop can be seen So right now it is giving you lower highs. The support there on the downside at thirty three nine hundred is strong, and let's be cautious of that. Also at the same time it is trying to trade with this as pivot. See, uh, the pivot here at thirty three nine fifty levels, close to that levels, higher highs, lower lows. We can see it hitting thirty three eight hundred eight thirty levels. That is going to be a very strong support zone. Directional movement is bullish still. Stock ISD is trading flat. MACD is trading bearish here, and it is trading with a divergence. RSI trading flat. And if you look at the daily charts, on the daily charts, look at this here. See lower highs. The resistance at thirty four one hundred one fifty zone is going to be strong. It can achieve these levels, and if it trades beyond thirty four one fifty, you can possibly expect it to achieve thirty four two fifty levels. And on the downside, now see this lower highs. Higher lows, trying to trade within this zone, thirty-three nine hundred and thirty-three, thirty-four one hundred levels. Just be cautious in between these two hundred points. Directional movement extremely bullish. It must start to converge. Stock ISD was overbought, looking downwards, and yes, uh, MACD is. is still in green it must start to converge and cross over for a sell rsi is still on the overbought levels considering this only long entry i will recommend is beyond 34100 levels beyond that you can expect 34150 and then beyond that if it trades beyond 34150 you can expect 34200 levels till the time it trades below 34100 Yes, I will expect it to drop, but then thirty three nine fifty levels. You can go short at thirty three nine fifty. Expect thirty three nine hundred as a very good support. Thirty three eight fifty as a support. Then thirty three eight hundred. The zone between thirty three eight hundred and eight fifty is going to be very very strong support. Below that, it is going to drop for thirty three seven fifty seven hundred. And if it breaks thirty three seven hundred, we may see a very strong crash for thirty three thousand five hundred, thirty three thousand three hundred levels. If not today, then possibly by tomorrow. Just be watchful of this zone at thirty three eight hundred nine hundred. First and then thirty three seven hundred levels. So take your positions accordingly. Trade accordingly. Trade with the stop loss. Trade with the trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.